how cute he made a swing out of the tissue roll. Okay, I see you swing. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this vlog. Here's a festive charcuterie board and this is how we're going to go ahead and make it. These are all the ingredients that you need in order to go ahead and make this nice festive Christmas charcuterie board. Chips, cheese, guacamole, strawberries, something sweet, something savory. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and start off with putting gloves on because we're making this for a party. We want to make sure that our hands are, you know, either clean, very clean or we're going to protect them with gloves. Then we're going to go ahead and start with the savory. Like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and start with cheese and you're going to go ahead and put that all across the, the charcuterie board and line it up very nice and neat. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and grab our wheat thins and place that right behind the cheese, placing it, giving it enough space for everything that we want to go ahead and put on our charcuterie board. After that is done, then we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is organized and nice and neat and before we move on to our next thing. And after everything is placed nice and neat and presentable, then we're going to go ahead and move on to our boiled eggs. Just removing the yolk from the other part of the egg and just laying it on the charcuterie board for us to go ahead and then off camera mix the yolk with yellow and blue dye to make green filling for our deviled Christmas themed deviled eggs. And I'm just making more space here just so that I can go ahead and put some more. I've already made the filling. I put it in a sandwich or a snack bag and then I'm going to go ahead and just fill each egg with the yolk that has been mixed with mayonnaise, mustard, a little bit of relish, and some blue and green dye. And then just go ahead and continue filling all the eggs with your green yolk, making it very pretty. And after that, then you want to add a half of a tomato to have that green and red Christmas feel just a little topping you don't have to eat that part sometimes I didn't eat it but it's just for display then after you finish that then you're going to go ahead and go to your scoop chips and then we're going to go ahead and use the guacamole for that so we're just going to put each scoop of chip on the charcuterie board and then after that we're going to go ahead and fill that with our guacamole and right now I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of a decor just to add a little festivity so I'm adding rosemary and I'm going to also add cranberries just it's not not to eat it's just decoration for the charcuterie board to make it really pretty and festive now we're going to add a scoop of your guacamole to each of the scoop chips that we placed on prior to and then like again you just make sure you have you know a nice nice amount on each chip so that somebody can just go ahead and grab and eat it makes it very quick and easy nice finger food display and then we're going to go ahead and add the half of the tomato on top of that as well and you continue to just put a half of a tomato on each scoop of chip so that everybody can get a bite of that chip and tomato if they want to keep the tomato on and I just cut a little of the tomatoes the cherry tomatoes is what I use and you just go ahead and put a half of them on each of the chip and once you're almost complete with that then we're going to go ahead and get grab our brownie bites I use this, this rosemary to separate the sweet and savory um, the little display we're gonna get our brownie bites and then we're gonna grab our marshmallow now this recipe when I saw it it took for whipped cream and being that marshmallow is very sticky and then it kind of moves I definitely understand why they use whipped cream instead of fluffy marshmallow but I thought it would be very delicious to do the marshmallow but you know it's my first time you live and you learn but we're gonna go ahead and put a scoop of marshmallow on each top, top of each brownie. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue that with all the brownies that are displayed on the charcuterie board. 
and then after that and see I'm telling you it's so sticky um, but after that process then you're going to go ahead and add a, a piece of strawberry on top of each brownie because it's supposed to be like a Christmas hat on top of a brownie then we're going to go ahead and continue to cut our strawberries so that they can go ahead across on each of the brownie bites and then I also put a display of strawberries next to the bites in case anybody wanted some red, fresh strawberries and then we're going to go ahead and continue and after that after we do all of the strawberries on the brownie bites and as you can see one of them is falling and this is the reason why you don't use the marshmallows use whipped cream if you're going to go ahead and try this charcuterie board and then after you do that then you're going to go ahead I think I cut some of the strawberries and displayed it on the side and then after you do that you put a little bit of topping on top of the strawberries so it can be a little nice Christmas hat but like I mentioned before it's probably best to use whipped cream so that it can be a little better and then I guess you would just put it in the in the refrigerator to make sure it doesn't kind of melt because as you can see that stickiness was a problem and it's still moving but and now what we're gonna do is what they call reindeer chow it is Chex Mix I used the one that was already made and then I used peanut M&Ms you don't have to use peanut but I did use the peanut one the red red and the green and then as you can see the display looks so delicious very festive and it's great for any holiday parties 